Hello there, so we had a video the previous time about how to practice the modes of the major scale and we said that we have to practice uh, from starting with the brightest mode going to the darkest mode and um, there were some questions about this video like um, how do I know that this is brighter than this one and what do you exactly mean by uh, bright or by dark I mean s some people do not really get the, the meaning of bright and dark mode so uh, I thought that I will make another video uh, in order to, to show you how you can try to listen the differences uh, between one mo mode to another mode um, besides you cannot really understand if it's the very first time that you play the modes if you have an experience with the mode uh, then of course this could clarify lots but if it's uh, if you're a beginner and you haven't played the modes before maybe it was a little confusing in order to accomplish that and understand the differences uh, probably you have to pay above uh, the, the tonic so not playing above a chord but just the, the very first note so I will do this for you and I will play the C note so all the examples will be on uh, the C with having the tonic the C again and um, I will play that with my bass guitar and I will loop it with a loop pedal uh, so I won't use any, any program, any DAW, I will play that with my bass guitar and then I will unplug my bass guitar and play above that with my electric guitar. Uh, so I will play all the modes without interrupting between, so you can get all the modes just one octave uh, above the C note of the bass guitar and uh, after that probably just play a little bit. So, let's see that. Okay, so I hope that this clarified a lot about um, what is bright and what is dark and uh, how to listen uh, better to the modes. Uh, I'm sorry for my banjo skill, for sorry for my bass guitar skills. Uh, I'm not a bass player, and uh, I hope that this really helped. So the next thing is just to play with the modes over this note, not just to practice the scales up and down all the time, uh, just try to be creative or just try to listen uh, the mode, so just play the notes that you like and try all the modes this way, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to, to, to have a, an outstanding technique or that you, you have to be in a virtuoso in order to understand and be creative with the modes. Just 
stay on an octave, on a position, on anything, it doesn't really matter. And try to listen when you play over the same note. This is the step in order to be creative. Now, if you want to also um, have better technique skills, then okay, try to play the mode all over the fretboard or all over the keyboard or all over the bass, all, all over your instrument. So I'll do that and I hope that I will stay in one octave and I hope that this will clarify a lot more. Thank you. Okay, so that's all. I hope you like the video and hope that this clarifies a lot. And as you see in the last part, I don't try to do anything fancy. I don't. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't have to be all over your fingerboard, as I said before. Uh, I didn't use any special techniques. I just focus only on one octave. So uh, this is enough if you want to try to become creative and innovative and um, try to do as try to play as as much as you can so if you like the video uh, please of course like and share and of course subscribe because there are other videos and i will make other videos like this and also there are some ukulele lessons so there are some uh, some other guitar lessons there are other kinds of videos in my channel and um, also from uh, for the the people who are from Greece or like Greek music, there are also some uh, tutorials on how to play some Greek songs, uh, and there there will be more. So thanks again for watching.